I'm going to show you how to make a needle join. So when you get to the end of your round and you now want to finish off with one color because you're going to start with another color, you will do the following. You are going to cut your yarn tail long enough to give you um, to be able to weave in at the back. So uh, I sort of guesstimate what they spoke about 15 to 20 centimeters. Then to do the needle join technique, which is the way I do it, is you then, on your last stitch, you pull your yarn through. Then you're going to take a sewing needle and you're going to make your needle join. So, okay, so what we've got here, we have got the stitch and then the two loops at the top. You've got two stitches here. So this is your your two your two double crochets in the corner. You want to you want to make your needle join into the second stitch, not the first one, into the second one. So you're going to go you're basically going to make that but on top of it. So you're going to go underneath and pull your yarn through. And then you can make it not too tight, but about the same as your loops here. That's your front loop made. Then you're going to take your needle and you're going to go into the center of the top of the back loop from your last stitch. Okay, and then you're going to just pull it gently. And you will see there that you have created an identical loop, the two top loops, a back and a front loop, the little cap on top of your stitch. So once that's hidden, you can't see where you made your join. So that is the one way that you can do it. And then just to finish it off, I turn my work slightly. Then I take this yarn and I, well, the, this thread, and I just pop it underneath the back part of your double crochet, the stitch, and then back again. And that anchors it so that it doesn't pull open. So there you go, it won't pull open. That is an identical little cap that you've created. Then what you then do then is you then weave in your end. And the way I weave in is possibly maybe over over weave, but rather too much than not enough. Okay, and then I'm going to go backwards. Weave in. And you can do it a third time if you like. So you're going in two directions. Okay. Um, and then I snip it off and that is how I make a needle join and as I say once you've let me hide that tail away once you've finished it and you want to start your next your next yarn color with a standing stitch or a chain or however you do it you can't see the end and especially if you're making things like hat you know beanies or um ending with an amigurumi and you're making a nose for a bear or ears having it like that just looks so much neater and makes your work look so much more professional plus you've already threaded your tail end so weaving it in then is you're halfway there okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was helpful